welcome to another vlog. We're taking you on another mini adventure in Vancouver today. We're in an area in North Vancouver called Deep Cove. It's one of our favorite spots. We love it here. But we're going to do a little mini hike walk up to a spot called Quarry, Quarry Rock. Quarry Rock. <laughs> Ken keeps making fun of me. I'm saying it weird apparently. <clears throat> Doesn't just roll off the tongue for me. And it's a nice little walk. It seems quite busy today. We were thinking on a Wednesday it wasn't going to be too bad, but um, we took quite a few loops around trying to find parking, but we finally got a spot. So we're going to take you up to the top here. Um, I'll show you what I'm currently looking at. It's gorgeous. We have a beautiful day for our adventure. So this is the cove here. There's a bunch of parks around the area, and then we're going to be hiking up through here to a giant rock that overlooks the cove. So it should be a good day. We're excited. We don't take advantage of Vancouver enough, so um, we should do this more often. Oh, there's a little Chico. <laughs> I know, I saw him. Is he going up? We should brought Chico, maybe. He could have done this. Yeah, and then later on we're going to go for lunch, just wander around and enjoy the afternoon. So let's go. <laughs> We just started and I'm already tired. This is the most exercise I've done in a long time. off. That was more of a hike than I thought it was going to be. For sure. So many dogs though. It's awesome. That's where we're going to head to lunch down there. We parked somewhere about here. That's the marina and then there's a few little shops and coffee things. Co coffee shops and whatnot down there. Chico could have come. <laughs> Made it back down to the bottom. You can see where we were, right there. Hey, you can see all the people up there. Yeah. <laughs> so what time is it now? How long did that take us? We left a little after 11. Yeah, so two hours, but we were up there for probably 20 or 30 minutes. Just checking it out. So it's a good little hike. It's like a mini grouse grind, I would say. It's like the first quarter of the grouse grind. Have you ever done that? But 
it was harder than we thought. <laughs> and I'm definitely very out of shape. Did you enjoy it, Ken? I did. <laughs> yes, one word, okay. <laughs> so we're gonna find ourselves a patio. We're itching for a quenching beer now. And get some lunch on the little strip nearby. Restaurants and cafes back here, cute little shops. I'm not supposed to be shopping. But I think we have found a good spot behind us here with the patio and the view of the water. Don't get it. Okay, we had to scrap that plan. There was no seats on the patio, so we've made our way to another little spot. What amazing looking sandwiches over there. We should have gone there. I know, but they don't have beer there. Yeah, I know. We could have had beer here and then gone for a sandwich there. Should have done that. I, yeah, didn't I did see the, the Reuben on the way down. Why didn't you tell me? Oh. We settled on this spot. We got our beer. Beer has never tasted so good after a, a big hike like that. And we ordered some prawn tacos. Hopefully they're good. They'll be good. They'll be good. <laughs> Not as good as Reuben, but pretty no. good. Damn. <laughs> it's very upset by this. <laughs> Our last stop was donuts, famous donuts of Deep Cove. Um, it's called Donuts. Honey's donuts. Oh yeah, Honey's donuts and something else. <laughs> um, tiny little place, but super super cute. Packed in there. The lady even said she was like, I don't know what's going on today, but there's just constant flow of people. But they get you in pretty, in pretty quickly and out pretty quickly. Um, so we got two of their classic honey. That's all they had left. They were sold out of everything. Ken wanted the maple dip one, but you got to get there early for that one. Fun fact, this place actually became famous because um, a few years back, Idris Elba and Kate Winslet. Holy hell. <laughs> oh when God. they were filming, what's that movie called? The one where they're in the mountain and the plane crashes. Anyways. They were filming that here years ago and Kate Winslet used to come here to get her donuts and it became famous <laughs> after that. So that place was packed. They have a patio there for food now as well and the food looked insane. So we're going to taste it. They're super heavy. This is like a pound of dough. I got myself one. I'm going to split it with mom. Take some home for mom. Tastes like the fair. Mm-mm. Off we go, back home, trying to beat the traffic. Yeah. Two o'clock, so it's just gonna be starting now. Look at these things. Oh my lord. Good thing we hiked. <laughs> yeah, earned it. Mm -hmm. This is what separation anxiety looks like. Mom's gone out briefly. Said the wrong word. Shouldn't say that M word. And he just can't stand it. So we're snuggling while I edit what we filmed today. Oh, breast sticks. Stinks. It's not his teeth because he just has teeth cleaned. <laughs> Is that new diet not working out very well? And now my camera's crooked and I can't adjust it because he's resting on my arm now. <laughs> oh, oh. Going on there. Just can't get comfy. <laughs> As I was saying, almost finished editing what I have filmed today. That was fun. I like editing those more artsy um, with music kind of clips. But after looking at all that food again, we're thinking about our next meal. <laughs> We've been home for probably two hours now, almost two hours. And we're thinking about dinner. I'm feeling like it should be something pretty clean because we had two pound donuts and tacos and beer for lunch. It's all about balance though. We did do the hike, so that kind of counteracts it a little bit, but um, I don't think we have too much here. This is what I do when I'm really lost as to what to eat for dinner. I go on Pinterest. I pin quite a bit on 
um, my food board on Pinterest. So trying to decide is there anything that I can kind of rework in the kit in the fridge or should I take something out of the freezer? Should I go to the grocery store? But I'm gonna start with Pinterest. Pinterest always helps get the juices flowing in the head. I'd love to have some mushrooms tonight. That's what I really like, but Ken hates mushrooms. Maybe we'll just do it like an easy stir fry or something. I don't know, I'll get back to you. Okay, I think we have a dinner plan. It's gonna be a makeshift stir fry kind of thing. <laughs> It'll still be healthy, it'll be fine. I have some broccoli and cauliflower that are kind of on the tail end. Garlic, celery, some baby carrots, um, lots of onion, and then I've got some tofu. Extra firm, always gotta be extra firm. Um, and then just make a really simple stir fry sauce. No rice, just veggies and tofu. And that's dinner. Just a little update on the Walmart t-shirt situation from probably my last vlog. I was looking for more of these vintage style t-shirts. I have a really cool one um, that says NASA on it. I wear that one a lot camping, um, but I've been looking for another one. I was looking through Walmart because I know that they have quite a few right now. Maybe they have better stock in the States. Ours was not great. So I ended up finding this one on Amazon. Um, 1317, that's American though, so if you're Canadian, it's a bit more than that. Um, but it's on its way, I love this one, I think it's super cool. I love the colors of it. It is men's again, it's a size small though, but I think it should work fine. I'm just gonna try to shrink it a little bit. I wanna oversize anyways, I don't want it to be super, super tight or anything, but we'll see when we get here. I can always kind of put a little slit on the side of it and tie it or something, or just put a little knot in the front and roll it up. I tuck everything anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh baby, just after recording that, I remembered that I think I actually bought one when we were still in Singapore. It's white version, so it's not gonna have two of the same thing. But I think it might still be in my suitcase that I have yet to unpack from our move abroad. So I'm gonna dig through this and see if I can find it. I really hope I didn't get rid of it because I like that one. Do you wanna help? You wanna come help? You wanna help? Come see. go and it still has the tag on it. I bought it so late in our time in Singapore that I didn't even get a chance to wear it. This looks big too. UK 8. It's a big 8. So not actual vintage but has that vintage kind of colors, vintage colors to it um, and it's white so I don't regret buying the other one. Nice. What else do I want to pull out of here while I'm at it? Mostly bathing suits and really summery stuff that I can't make good use of just yet. Other than this, I'm gonna unpack this one as well. And put my summer hat back in there. I think that's it for now. Suitcase is a disaster. I wouldn't normally pack like this, but I've kind of like been picking away since we moved back, trying to find different things. <laughs> Very random stuff left over in here just hasn't really been touched much. Oh, start eating those again too. <laughs> I was charging up all my camera equipment for today, last night, so I have cords and things hanging around everywhere that need to go back into the cupboard. But I don't know if you guys noticed these things, but I probably wouldn't if I was watching someone else's vlog, but I actually used three different cameras to film everything we did earlier today. So I had my big uh, Fujifilm X-T20 with my upgraded kit lens, the 18-55. to Normally I have my 23 on, but I wanted the wider shots, so I added uh, my other lens on, so I'm just switching that back over. And then I used a GoPro 4, GoPro Hero 4. It's quite old, we've had it for many years, but it's done us good. And um, we don't use it that often, so I haven't upgraded it. They're very satisfying click about to happen. Oh, it's a good sound. And my regu regular vlogging camera that I'm on right now, which is the Sony, I don't even know what it's called anymore, actually, it's really old. <laughs> it's always in all the description boxes of all my videos, but 
yeah, getting organized for the next one, getting things charged back up, changing lenses, lenses back over. The behind the scenes of the vlog. <laughs> I bought these really um, fluffy socks. I think I actually got them for Christmas like a long, long time ago, but they're really plush and fluffy, so I actually use these as my lens cases instead of buying fancy ones from Canon or something. Um, and that's what I've used when we've been traveling and everything and they've always been fine. <laughs> Sometimes I'll double them up on itself like that. Or I put two on it. But it worked just fine. Keeps them nice and protected. It works. 